Jason Lea back here again and today it's time for the box office report and Joker had came in at number two with Maleficent beating it with the 36 million dollar opening weekend. Now Joker fell 47% which is still extremely good for the movie. It's getting low drop offs and bringing in a total of 29 million dollars. That is still a good number and we'll get to that later. But Zombieland 2 Double Tap had came in with 26, which is decent considering it cost like 42 million to make. I think that, that movie's gonna make it some money back and be profitable, but I don't think it's gonna be like an entirely big success. But I think it's going to fare off fine. Adam Family went down to number four, it was at number two last week, so. 47% drop is fine. It's right now at a total of $56 million worldwide. So it is still good. And I think it's going to make money back. The budget's not revealed yet, but we'll see it. We'll see how it goes when their budget is revealed. And Gemini Man, <laughs> poor, poor Willie Smith. Dropped to number five with eight million dollars, the 58% drop. Jesus Christ. And the cost of that movie is 138 million, it's only worldwide 118. <laughs> oh god, this is movie, this movie's gonna be a complete failure. I feel so bad for it. Now, let's go to Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Uh, no budget revealed yet, but I think it's like around the hundred thirty million dollar range. It's right now at one hundred fifty three million worldwide. That is a great number, and I think the movie could still be profitable. We just gotta wait until the next week to see how far it drops because reviews for the movie ain't that good. So we'll just see how it goes. But let's talk about Joker most of all. With that drop off of 47%, it has now managed to cross Justice League, the both of the Thor films, the first two, the first two Captain America movies, and managed to take in up to now 737 million worldwide over a budget of 55 million. This movie is tracking right now by the next week to beat Deadpool and maybe be the first R-rated movie to cross 800 million. Oh my god, that is insane. This movie is doing insanely well. Jesus Christ, I... Who would have expected this? Yeah, it's, I think it's mostly the word of mouth going on in the controversy and the stupidity behind the press saying all this stuff about the movie. It's just making people want to come see this movie more. And I just love it for that. This movie is a juggernaut of a box office smash. And honestly, I do think it had the potential to cross $800 million. Still 1 billion, I don't think so right now. I don't think as the pace is going, it's going to cross 1 billion. But I could be wrong. It could, there's a 1% chance it could. I think the best bet for it to stop is maybe 900, but I think no matter what, this movie is already so successful, it doesn't even need to break 1 billion anymore. It's already making hundreds of millions of dollars back to the studio and with low budget DC movies like this and Shazam at around 90 million and now Joker at 55 million DC is not like releasing these hundred million dollar blockbusters and I think that mindset is really helping them make money and make good movies and so I'm really excited for the future of DC. They're on a rise right now. Hopefully, Birds of Prey doesn't ruin any of that, which I fear it's going to. 
But, um, yeah, Joker is the big thing this week. Again, even though it's number two, it still managed to get the most talk and the most success. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. What do you guys think of these of this news? Let me know what down in the comments below. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Please hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.